Hey Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys for the following week, September 28th through October 5th. But if you happen to find this reading at another time, take it as it resonates because these readings are timeless. All right, so Capricorn, what is going on with you guys? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. What's up with you guys, Capricorn? Well, being that I am a Capricorn sun, rising, Mercury, I kind of know what's up with us, but I'm not going to project my own experience onto you guys. Okay. So what's up with Capricorns? We've got Page of Cups, okay? You could be getting a heartfelt message unexpectedly from someone here. You could have maybe been waiting on an apology of some sort. This is uh, Taurus energy, Pisces energy, okay? This is someone who I feel like you have a very strong soul contract with, okay? So it's like a message of tenderness, of love. Maybe they've always been kind of like rigid with you or um, cold or disciplinarian, but I feel like they're going to kind of soften up here is the feeling I'm getting, okay? They're going to maybe let their guard down. They're going to maybe stop trying to control everything. Or maybe that's what you want, okay? Five of Swords, Knight of Cups again. A Pisces energy again, okay? I feel like we've got Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So we're getting Taurus twice, Pisces twice. I feel like this is like, let me see, Five of Swords and Knight of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you might have felt like there's just no movement in this situation. This is Virgo now. Um, this could potentially switch things up, okay? This person could end up really coming forward with their feelings for you or, you know, wanting to start on a new foot here. The Hierophant is also like they could have gotten some spiritual counsel about this. They could have gone to someone. They could realize they have some issues with their heart chakra, okay? So... Um, I feel like there's been a lot of issues in the past. You may have felt like they were kind of selfish or like withholding. I feel like you guys sort of just like stop investing in this situation because you just felt like this person was never going to like open their heart to you. Yeah, you lost hope in this situation. Now we've got Aquarius energy. I'm being called to use another tarot deck to get clarity, okay? So this is the... Enchantment of the, um, what is it? Enchant, Tarot of Enchanted, for Tarot of the Enchanted Forest. Why? Forest of Enchantment Tarot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's Mercury Retrograde. I have an excuse, right? Okay. So, if I can't even say the tarot, the name right. So, yeah, I mean, the star reverses also, I feel like you feel like you couldn't get through to this person, too. And they could have been triggering wounds of, like, an emotionally unavailable parent of some sort. Like a childhood wound here. Nothing wants to come out. Nine of Cups. You guys, I love this Nine of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. Because it's like, I feel like you've been in the star here. It's like, wishing and hoping and thinking each nail you love. It's like, whatever you've been wishing for, whatever you've been trying to manifest, I feel like you're going to get a tangible manifestation here. Okay, we've got the Weaver of Challenges, which is the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't think you guys are going to be that warm to them, though, okay? Then we've got the Council of Animals, which is judgment. I feel like you're afraid because in the past your judgment was off with them, and now you're really guarded. You also could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are cold. She's a cold-hearted slave. <laughs> we can be like that, guys. And then we've got the Queen of um, Cups reverse. It's like, you've lost that love and feeling. <laughs> all right, so this person has, it's like the all the heart chakra energy has now transferred to them, I feel like, okay? So I'm going to get some of the themes that's going on here. You're definitely cold at heart right now. Your heart has turned cold in a way. But you are still dreaming and manifesting things, but you may have let go of it being this person. 
ancient ancestry egypt magical inheritance okay you might feel like this is kind of like old news at this point too like you're kind of tired of knocking down the same door here natural authentic real organic and i feel like you want something that feels like it flows more like it's not like you just trying so hard to like fit a square into a circle i feel like you just want things to be natural you want things to flow i feel like there's been a lot of control battles a lot of like powerlessness and you're just kind of tired of it is the feeling i'm getting here The past is a prison, bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. I f that's what I'm saying with the ancient. I just feel like you guys are over it. Like, whatever hasn't been working, you guys aren't just going to, you're just not dealing with it. But the way you've gotten cold has really triggered someone else to really start seeing your value and worth as well. All right, so what are some of the themes here? This is from the Sacred Symbol Oracle. I just got this deck today. I love it. stormy yeah and i feel like if there was drama there you guys want the calm the natural the easy breezy you're tired of it and 21 is like it's the end of a cycle it's like it's and you're looking for something more positive it's like i feel like your life has just been so stressful you don't want to sail the stormy seas anymore you want happiness and joy and you're focused on what you want and what you're trying to manifest here i love it guys all right let's see what's going on with them here I feel like they're actually really kind of upset. <laughs> you're really just determined to get to where you're going and to experience magic and happy and joy again. Good for you guys. All right, so where are they at? This is from Carrie from Celestial Forecast Silhouettes. I'm probably going to do Libra next. So if you guys are have any Libras that you're dealing with, I was being called to do those two tonight. Legacy, the decisions, the actions you make today will affect the future. Be mindful of what you choose to leave behind for the next generation. I feel like they feel like you're the one that got away. Like you're the one they could have started a family with. You're the one they wanted to be with. Um, maybe they wanted to build a legacy with you. They're thinking about like family and who they wanted to end up with here. I took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. From the first moment I saw you, I knew my search was over. It was all downhill for anyone else who tried to capture my heart because you already caught it. Landslide. Um, this person I feel like is falling down emotionally. Um... I, this is really far-fetched, guys, but I just noticed it. So these are both L's. Could be dealing with someone with an L name, but I don't usually analyze that. But I just noticed that. Beacon of hope. When you fail to see the light at the end of the tunnel, look for me. I will be there. I mean, I feel like as a Capricorn, you really want someone that you know will always be there. And you're not sure if this person has ever shown you that sense of loyalty. That's something that they need to prove. Maybe that would be altering this for you, okay? Um, I also feel like you're kind of like a beacon of hope. But I feel like you want someone you could depend on, not someone that's falling and trying to grasp for you. Because I feel like you guys are always the ones saving people. And I feel like you want someone to be your beacon of hope. Yeah, we have beacon of hope and faith. I believe in us. We could get through this. I know that we belong. Do you believe in us? I feel like they're carrying the torch of hope for, for the both of you at this point. But I don't know, Caps. Are you willing to open your heart back up to this person? Because I'm not feeling like you are. I feel like you've moved on in a way. Look at this. This is what was on the bottom of the deck. So it's like really kind of in your hands whether you want to revisit this old flame or... All right, we're going to get one last message from them. Oh my God, you guys, after shuffling it. Bye. Bye, Felicia. I don't know. 
I feel like you kind of felt free when you broke free from this person, but it is Mercury retrograde, guys, and the past does come knocking on your door, so this was a hard loss for you when they freed themselves for you. It says, you've had my heart right from the start, and this says from that first moment. So this was love that you guys both recognized right from the start, okay? My heart comes with no conditions, no boundaries, no color lines, no restrictions. It belongs to you, all of you together. Our hearts are... I mean, I feel like this is a strong connection, but at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like you almost feel like you choose yourself or you choose this relationship. This was the hardest thing I've ever had to do to leave the past behind, to move on. The past is where you and I, where the good memories live, where my dreams of all of us fell apart. Our time together is over and I need to find the strength to say it goodbye. So, I mean, it's up to you guys, really, truly. I believe that. Um, so that's your reading caps. Hopefully this resonates with you. Thanks for tuning in. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. That'll mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.